Hi, this is Lisa Somerville for Divinity Designs. Today I'm here to share with you a tutorial using the Center Step A2 with Layers die set. This is a set of four dies. You have the card base and the layering dies. This die will die cut and score your cardstock to create a four and a quarter by five and a half Center Step A2 card base. You can die cut the card base from cardstock and then die cut the layering panels from pattern paper. The directions for folding the score lines are indicated on the packaging. The M lines are mountain fold, the V lines are valley fold. And here's a finished card using the Center Step A2 with layers die set, along with additional Divinity Designs products. Again, this card does fold flat for mailing purposes and fits into an A2 envelope. Now let me show you just how easy it is to create a card using the Center Step A2 with Layers Die Set. In addition to the Center Step A2 with Layers Die Set, I'm going to be using two additional dies and one paper pad. The die sets with Deepest Sympathy and Layers. This is a set of six dies. You have the Word dies and the Layering dies. The other die set is the Butterfly Layering Combo die set. This is a set of four dies. Die cut and layer the three butterflies to create a dimensional butterfly. You can use the solid butterfly for a background layer. The paper pad I'm going to be using is the Stoneware Paper Pad Collection. So here you can see the card base from the Center Step A2 with Layers die set, cut and scored out of cardstock. Then I have the layering panels die cut from the Stoneware Paper Pad Collection. Using your favorite adhesive, adhere the pattern paper to the card base after the pattern paper has been adhered to the card base, you can then fold on the score lines. The top folds are mountain folds. The two sides are valley folds. And then the bottom is a mountain fold. You can then use a bone folder to go over the score lines on your card. Now you can embellish the center step A2 with layers using additional Divinity Designs products. I've already die cut and embossed the word dies from the With Deepest Sympathy and Layers die set. Prior to die cutting, I did add an adhesive sheet to the back, so that makes adding these word dies to my project a little bit quicker. You can also easily attach the word die cut panels to your cardstock using Fairly Art Craft glue. We're going to set those word dies aside for a minute while we work with the butterfly layering combo die set. You'll die cut and layer the three butterflies to create a dimensional butterfly pattern. I'm also going to be using the solid butterfly for a background layer. And if you'd like to, you can use the adhesive sheets on your cardstock or pattern paper prior to die cutting. That does make your assembly a little bit quicker. Or again, you can use the Barely Art Craft glue. Before I assemble the butterfly, I'm going to show you a few different looks that you can achieve using the butterfly layering combo die set. Here we have layer one. Here's layer one on top of layer two. And here's layers one, two, and three. Now here's layers one, two, three, and four. Layers one and four, one and two, one, two, and four, one and three, one, three, and four. Again, you can see there are many different combinations that you can create when using our layering combo die sets. Now I'm going to go ahead and adhere my butterfly layers together using Fairly Art Craft glue so that I can use them as an embellishment on the Center Step A2 with layers card. Then repeat that process with the additional die cut layers. Here's layers one, two, and three stacked on top of each other. And now I'm going to add it to the solid butterfly layer panel. You can see how adding that layering panel really makes the butterflies pop. Now I can go ahead and adhere some foam tape to the back and apply to the center step A2 with layers card. I'm going to use our die cutting tool to easily remove the adhesive backing from the foam tape and then add that to my card base. Now I'm going to use the die cutting tool to remove the cardstock from the With Deepest Sympathy and Layers dies. You can use the piercing end of the tool 
to remove the openings in the die cut words. Again, prior to die cutting and embossing the word dies, I did add an adhesive sheet to the back of my cardstock panel. Now I'm going to use our die cutting tool to remove the adhesive backing from the die cut word and then adhere to the bottom of my card base. The die cut and embossed word die was a little too busy on the pattern paper, so I went back and die cut the layering dies from the With Deepest Sympathy and Layers die set. Now I'm going to adhere that die cut and embossed word panel onto the layering panel and then to the card base. I'm using the same color card stock as the solid butterfly from the butterfly layering combo. And then you can see I can add it to the card base. And then I'll repeat this process with the other die cut and embossed word die and layering panel. And now I'm going to put that word die over the die cut and embossed word panel that you see here so that I can easily attach the dot for the eye. Now I can go ahead and add adhesive or foam tape to the back of the die cut and embossed words and add them to the base card. We do carry a number of additional folded card dies. You can find those on our website. For more inspiration using these and additional Divinity Designs products, visit the product pages on our website, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Pinterest and Instagram.